spotted two nice bucks up, I don't know, probably about 800 yards up the, up the hill across. I don't know if you could see there. I won't be able to see them. All right, here we go. First trip with the GoPro. Not here, September 18th, 2023. Solo trip. Gonna head in and see what I can get here from. Just started the uphill portion of this ass kicker. You can see, I don't know how far I'm into it, but uh, it's got a ways to go. I think I'm about where I want to be getting ready to make my final approach it's uh definitely getting steeper there's fewer and fewer flat spots so I don't know where I'm gonna bivy up but uh it's looking good here <laughs> you can see a lot of open areas Good cover too, patches of trees. There's water down in that draw. I'm gonna try and get up somewhere over there. Hopefully it looks like I thought I saw some rocks. Maybe that'll give me a spot I can post up at. Getting close, my legs are about done. I'm tripping all over myself. All right. All right. I guess I'm here. It's getting a little thick and exposed. To go any further, I don't even know where I'm gonna set up and sleep tonight. It's it's all steep right here. There's nowhere flat unless I go back. Maybe. But I also need to go down and get some water. But that's going to leave me really exposed to everywhere I want to hunt. I don't really have a choice. I'm down to like a liter. So I'm going to have to creep down there. Okay, this is way steeper than it looks. I was, I'm up there, is my spot. I don't even know. It's gonna be a mofo to get back up here. This is thick. I'm thinking about just going down this kind of landslide section here. I'm gonna be on all hands and knees like coming trying to come up it. It's all just like gravelly giveaway. Alright.
Well, that was crazy. I don't know if that'll come through in the video, but that's gonna be a moment to get back up. Great scenery. There's some water. So I'm at my water source. It's literally coming right out of the mountain here. I mean, probably not 10 feet away from where I'm at. It's uh, beautiful. I wish you could smell it. It smells like oregano or something. It smells like spaghetti sauce up there. It's a trip. Something in all these succulent weeds and stuff down here. I don't know if you can see it. So there's my water. I put in some rocks right here to make a little deep spot. It's, uh, I could probably just drink it right there. But, you know, better safe than sorry. I don't know why, I just placed that smell, that smells like onion. I think there's like mountain onion or something. All this stuff. It looks like, it looks like green onion. If you, this has got to be what it is. I don't know. It looks just like green onion. Alright, back to my spot here. We got a little bit of battery left. Not sure about that thunder. I don't know if you can see it, but it's still stacking. Get my back up to here. Alright, got my handy dandy MSR. I don't know what it's called. Wind Wind Pro or Wind Burner. Fuel for one. I'll have to get into the spare. Let's dinner got my uh, my bag with my food set to hang and I'm gonna head on over to my sleep and glassing spot and I think tomorrow I'll just uh, I'll just have lunch maybe a big lunch and then try not to move around over here too much if I didn't already screw it up today but uh it's definitely looking a little dark. It's starting to come in from this direction. I'm really hoping I stay dry tonight. But uh, part of the fun, I guess. Wouldn't be the first time I got rained on. Well, here comes the sprinkles. Try and cover my stuff up here. Hope it doesn't turn into a downpour like it did on Saturday. Of view. 
Hope it's not a miserable night. Hey, here we are. First morning. Just thought thought about my rest last night. It was uh, really tough getting comfortable. It's not a very level spot, but I kept messing with it throughout the night. I think it's better than what it was. Stars were amazing. All that overcast cleared out right after dark sometime. The moon went down early. It was just fantastic. Yeah, I don't know how many hours sleep I got, but it was off and on. But when I did wake up, I had a beautiful, beautiful view, checking things out. But yeah, here we go. nice bucks up I don't know probably about 800 yards up the up the hill across I don't know if you could see there won't be able to see them but they're near the top right in there right about the middle that patch of trees scanning because something might come up closer but uh one's one of them is real nice he's outside his ears two big big forks i can't count points beyond that but i think i'm gonna keep an eye on them as much as i can Let's see what happens well it's just after seven i don't know what time I spotted them, probably about 6.30, but the bigger one, he was, looks like he bedded by 7. His partner just laid down 7.15. Hell of a, hell of a hike to get up there and get him back. There. There, there's kind of well, it's nine o'clock. They seem like they're kind of bedded where they're going to be at. I was wondering if the big guy was going to move back to where the smaller one was at. But the way they are now, they're set up perfectly, kind of like spread out a little bit. Makes it really hard to creep on either of them. But I'm kind of considering maybe grabbing some food, putting my pack on, and just kind of, you know, going light, leaving my back, my food, most of my food, and uh, all my sleeping stuff here, and working my way kind of up around to the ridge and back of me, because I think that will lead around. To where they're at so maybe just get a little different look on the terrain you know what's over the hill um, or the other part of me is saying just sit tight maybe tonight they'll get down and move down to where this water's at I could have a chance if I just don't do anything but there's also a chance that they won't move till after dark and I'll never see them again. And if I get up and try doing something, I might just see something else while I'm out there. 
So I don't know. Probably going to try moving around a little bit. Plan A and see how my body feels. How much of an ass kicker this hill is in back of me. Alright. Well, here I am back. I uh, went over there. I ate, got some food. Um, it was about a hundred yards over there, and uh, I started making my way and backing me up this hill. But it's just steep, and uh, it's like one step forward, two steps back, like sandy kind of. Uh, if you see this light. and uh, thick, thick brush, just didn't seem realistic. I was going to be able to get all the way up and around over there. So, plan B I'm going to sit here and hope something comes within a shot. I got ants in my pants sitting there, so I decided to make another another try at it. This time I took the direct approach, kind of moving real slow, right out in the open, right under their noses. All right, so I just I'm set up. I'm about 400 yards from where they're at. Seems like they're on the other side of a little bunch of trees. I just saw one of them just caught a glimpse of his body getting up and like moving, repositioning. But I, I can't see him. So I got my tripod. Set up here. They're right up there. So hopefully I'm in a good position to uh, if they get up and start feeding early before dark. Maybe I'll get lucky. Alright. Okay. Well, I had a little surprise. I was waiting on the that nice buck I saw earlier, and then like 230 yards or something right in front of me, out came a different buck. It was like a split second decision. So I made my dope adjustment and uh, took a shot, and he disappeared over this little ridge. And I caught a glimpse of movement after that in some some of this brush. So I came over here and thought I would give it a look. And uh, sure enough, there he is. A little three by three. Not the buck I had in mind. But a uh, decent little buck. What the heck? No complaints. I gotta get this guy out of here. The belly looks full. Been eaten just like those other guys were. Well, thank you, Jesus, for a good harvest. Help me to get this guy out of here safely. Amen. Yeah.